Hello everyone, Lakshmi here. In the first session of my video, I am going to show you how you can create an EC2 instance on AWS, which is Amazon Web Services, and a bit intro to the AWS as well. To make normal users more familiar with the AWS platforms, they have given one year free access to some basic stuff, which includes an instance with uh, one GB of RAM, one CPU, and 10 gigs of storage. But it's good enough to start, I guess. Before we start playing with the AWS EC2 instance, we have to make sure we have done with our prerequisites. Which first one is have Putty installed on your machine so that you can access that EC2 instance, and second, get your own AWS account which is free. Let's log in into the console now. You can log in with your mail ID and the password if you have already an account. If you don't have, create a one now. I have already these details in my hand, so I'm just signing into the server. It redirects you to the landing page, so where you can see the AWS services. Go to the top left, which is services. Here you can see all the services that are being offered by the AWS cloud, which is compute, storage, database, security, networking and central delivery. I'm, inter I'm interested in EC2, so I'm just going to the EC2, which redirects you again to the EC2 dashboard where you can see the resources status. So you can see the running instances as zero because you don't have any instances at the moment. If you have any instances, then it shows the number there. And one of the important aspect in our session is billing, because as I mentioned before, AWS is offering one year free service on some basic stuff so we have to make sure we don't we don't get built so it's taking me to the billing dashboard you can check this frequently because you have to see how much you are being charged so this is so far zero and the forecast till the end of till the end of april is also zero until unless you go with the free tire you won't be get built so now let's launch the instance so that you will have a basic idea of which services you get free. So the first step will be to choose Amazon Mission MS in which you have to select the OS. There are different available modified or the default OSs are there. Amazon, One, Red Hat, Linux, Windows Server, etc. etc. They have to go with the free tire only so that we don't get built. click on free tire so that you will see only the free tire eligible images I'm going with the Red Hat Linux Enterprise click on select and then the storage which is free tire eligible is t2.micro do next and here you can select the number of instances you want to launch you can instant you can instantly create as many instances as you want just to add storage because we need storage as well by default it picks you with the 10 gigs of storage which is root and the device would be dev sda1 free tire eligibility is there till 30 gb click next you have to add a key value key is a name value is a description you can say so you can add up to maximum of 50 key value pays here so I'm going to add key as Lakshmi which is my name and the value also test instance You can select 50 max to next here you can select the security group with the security group you can control the traffic in and out from the server you can select the default security or you can select from the existing ones if you have already defined before you can see three different security profiles here which I have created before but I'm not going to use those I'm going to create a one so create and do next 
here you can review the whole set of things you have done so far what is the storage how many number of instances you are going to launch there is only one instance I am going to launch and what is the storage how much storage I have added it's only 10 GB I am going to launch and the key pair the key pair is a key that you can use when you log into the server for using putty or an SSH so okay, you can use the existing key pair if you have already one or you can create a new one I am just going to create a new one so, so that you will know how to do that so I have given a name and I am downloading it save file click OK let's see if it is really downloaded or not or it just said yes it downloaded and let's see where exactly it downloaded open the containing folder yeah you can see the .pem do launch instance the instance has been launched and it's now launching let's go to the services EC2 to this to see the status of the EC2 instance and it is running now you can see one instance is running there so one instance is running and its status checks are being done let's say it takes a while if you see the time it, it hardly took less than a minute how to connect just click on the instance and then connect you can see the DNS name public DNS you already have a putty installed on your machine so open the putty gen we have to convert the dot pem key to dot ppk version so we have to load it into the putty generator putty key generator basically let me find that out Lakshmi Lakshmi one there you go Lakshmi on the PM just say OK save it give it a name click S Lakshmi again dot PPK do you want it Here is the DNS. Just copy it. Open Putty. Paste the DNS. Go to SSH and then authentication. AUTH. Browse.ppk file. and then open the username will be ec2 hyphen user you logged into the server now just check the uptime two minutes up and running you can see the id tf hyphen h storage is 10 gigs which is under root let's create a directory make directory slash Lakshmi oh give sudo sudo this is all about how to create an EC2 instance and how to connect to it go through complete documentation of the AWS services to clearly know about the different free services available at the moment click the like button below if you like my video and do comment if you have any queries thank you